Hi guys! So today I'm gonna show you what's in my pen, like a case tour. So, um, let's get right into it. So I have two favorite pens and I'm gonna show you. My first one is definitely gonna be Muji pens. As you could see, like my Instagram, my Tumblr, I just love Muji pens and the brand is such, it's just such a nice brand and like, um, just looking at them, they're just so, they're pretty, first of all. Second, the ink is just smooth. Third, they're just perfect utensils for writing, for taking notes, for like bullet journaling, just everything. And my second favorite pen is gonna be the Pilot Juice pens. And um, definitely these are the vibrant colors, like the pretty, pretty colors that you can, they're just perfect. Like they came in a, they came in a 12 pack and they're from Japan, like, cause like America doesn't really have good pens, but like, and Japan makes like the best kind of stationaries. So um, after that, um, they're definitely going to be also another product from Japan, which is the Zebra Mild Liners. And um, these are the pastel versions. They're just perfect highlighters. Like I can't really say anything else. They're just perfect. Um, and then I have another few other products from Muji. Um, the wooden one is a ballpoint pen that um, they just it's just a regular ballpoint pen and um, compared to like a Muji pen this is 0 0.5 I have three types of Muji pens the 0 0.5 gel pen and I also have a 0 0.7 one and I also have a 0 0.38 you will see a review and like the difference tour like sometime soon I actually have a felt tip kind of like a plastic tip they're by Sapia, and um, if you look closely, they're kind of like plastic, but like it kind of gives the effect of felt tip. That's why I call it a felt tip pen, but they're really nice also. Um, Muji pens are just gel pens, so regular basic gel pens that are amazing. Um, compared to the Muji ballpoint pen, they're, yeah. So that's the difference between those. Um, so the mile liners are basically, um, Two tipped bold side and a thin side so as you can see with the pink um, there's like a regular highlighter tip and a like a fine liner kind of tip there um, I use the fine liner to do cursive but you can use it for other stuff so I'm gonna show you the difference between the pilot juice pens and the pilot g2 pens which are like you can get them anywhere in the United States they're like located in Staples, Target, and everywhere. But the reason why I don't really like the G2 pens is that like it just doesn't fit with my hand because I have pretty large hands and they just don't, it's just not like comfortable to write with it. But then for some reason, the Pilot Juice pens on the other hand, they're just perfect for writing and perfect for notes. So that's why, and you can see there, there's like a difference between the ink, but I just like the Pilot Juice pens a lot more. Pilot Friction Highlighters are basically, these are the pastel versions which are my favorite and um, these are erasable highlighters, perfect if you have like textbooks that you have to return so you can just highlight and erase when you're done. So if I don't have like important stuff or I don't want to ruin my highlighters, I use, I use this like Daiso Keen Blade Highlighter as you just saw and that's just if I don't want to ruin my fancy highlighters. Um, yeah, so this is a sh all of my pens and all my highlighters and stuff. So for school and stuff, I use a mesh pen case and basically it fits everything surprisingly, but it fits everything that, you know, you saw in the video. And um, sometimes if I can't fit like a Pilot Juice pen or like if I don't want to put them in the bunch, I put them in like the original casing that I it came with and same thing with the mild liners and the muji pens so i hope you guys enjoyed the video that was basically everything every last pen i have i own everything and um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time bye